check out what one of my subscribers uh, has sent me after watching one of my videos. Um, Bobby over at Sue Pyro uh, put his link on the screen and down in the description down below. But he saw my magnetic stir plate video I'd done a, a short while back showing uh, my magnetic stir plate in action and how I use it to make a yeast starter. Well, it turns out he had made his own uh, before mine and he had actually built himself a circuit board. And he graciously um, and very generously offered to make one for me and send me it and send me it and all the parts required for it. So this is what I got here. I got a package in the mail with with a circuit board with with my name on it. I'll probably zoom in there. You can see that here, probably closer when I zoom in. Uh, but it says beer and barbecue by Larry, right there. Look at that. It's, that's amazing. Um, he's got his name on there, or his uh, channel name, Stu Pyro. And uh, he sent me an on-off switch for this thing, a control knob, a little light to make sure it's on, and some other mounting hardware, and, and, and a stir bar too. Really cool. Um, you know, the guy's real generous. I really appreciate it. Now I just need to figure out... Um, oh, also, he also sent me a nice little letter with uh, a 3D model image of what he did. So he designed this board himself and he drew up plans for it there. Yeah. And mounting instructions. So really cool, man. This is really awesome. I wish uh, I could give him something to, to repay him, which I'll maybe I'll think about what I can do. But uh, so anyway, he sent this to me. <clears throat> And he also did a video on his channel on, on how he made this. So if you uh, don't know who this guy is, again, I'll put his link on the screen and a link to the video where he actually made this very board for me. And I'll, and I'll link to that. It was actually a pretty cool process. And, and it looked to me like very time consuming. So I really am really grateful for him doing this to me. This is really cool that I had a, one of my viewers or subscribers actually send me something like this so cool. This has never happened before uh, where, where uh, I got something like this from a, viewer. So this is really cool. I am really excited. Now I need to figure out how to retrofit this into my existing box. Here, right? You guys remember this box, right? With the, with the fan and everything in there. So I'm going to have to uh, mount this thing in here. Not a big deal. I'll figure out a way. I, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. And there is definitely a will. So this is really cool. I'm excited. This is so cool. I mean, look at all that. He did all that work for me. Again, he's got his name up here, um, Sue Pyro. And I got my name down here off to the left. And this is Beer and Barbecue by Larry. Really cool. Really cool. Got a, a little plug in jack there. A little pinouts here. You got a couple pinouts here and pinouts over here. And, uh, you know, he's got it going through the back and through the front again and some, some wires to connect. So, boy, this is cool. This is really neat. And he's even got a marked uh, LED, okay, uh, switch. And then the input that you can, you know, for the power range. And it's uh, really neat, man. Really cool. I spent some time putting all the parts into my existing box. And I had to drill some holes and uh, spot face some areas because of the wall thicknesses and the parts uh, that I had to work with, but uh, as you can see here it is now. So I have a, a on off switch here, a control knob in the middle, and a power light on. So and I'll turn on the power here for example, and the little light came on here, and there's a bit of a humming sound in the background. If I can turn the control knob up, and hopefully it'll start moving the fan. And uh, it's pretty cool, so let's take a look inside. So here's what I did here. I went ahead and mounted the circuit board along the back wall here with the, with the power output pointing out to the back. And uh, everything wired in here. Um, the, the control knobs um, are down here. And the PWM and the switch, everything all wired and all tied nicely together. And uh, it looks pretty cool. On the back side is the switch. Uh, with the little, little jack that goes to my power supply up against the wall off camera here. Same power supply I used in my previous videos. And it's pretty cool, you know, so I can turn this thing on. Let's see, turn it on. Here. Turn it 
turn it up. I get the fan moving. Here, I'll, I'll zoom out here. So there we go. So the fan's going. I can just turn the knob on and off, up and down. Pretty cool. So let's pu put a uh, Erlenmeyer flask of water on here and see how it behaves. Another thing I did, uh, this is a minor upgrade, is I put on some rub rubber feet on here. Partly because my uh, mounting screws for the PCB underneath kind of were protruding and making this box not sit completely flush on the table. And the rubber um, legs also keep it kind of steady and from moving around while it's vibrating and shaking all night. There we go. It's going. And I can fine tune it with the knob down here. Uh, the very small adjustment, is, it's pretty sensitive, so just a very slight amount of movement will actually adjust the speed, which is good. I like the fine tuning control. So this is pretty cool. Thanks, Bobby. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out other videos on my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe.